hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer praise and worship concert so before any further ado let's get started all right so here is four by four inches then the first thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to copy my color code from my test tool here, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then go to your color, select solid color, then Ctrl plus V to paste. So this is the color I'm going to use today. Now I'm going to my resources and I'm going to bring this background here. Then you scale it out. then this way is okay now i'm going to my blending mode then you change it to add lights then something like this all right now go to your filter then go to blur gaussian blur then apply to 0.5 is okay then you enter so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to draw a rent angle over here this way then you leave it at white color then apply a layer mask select your gradient tool and you blend over here okay after you are done with this one then go back to your resource then i'm going to import this background here then apply a layer mask then select your gradient tool and you blend here something like this it's okay all right so the next thing i'm going to reduce the opacity to 77 then i'm going to change the blending mode to linear light something like this all right then after then i'm going to bring my test so this is the font i'm going to use for this one then ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool i'm going back to select this image then you drag it up here now then control plus V to paste. Control plus A to alight it. Then apply vertical alignment. Then control plus D to deselect. Then I'm going to reduce the font size. Then select your test tool. And I'm going to change the font. Then to this font, arrows bt board okay then control plus j to duplicate it then you drag it down Select your test tool again, highlight it, then come over to your test, Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font color to something like this. 
then Ctrl plus A to alight, apply vertical alignment, Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then I'm going to select the two test. Then I'll reduce the font size. So something like this is okay. Now I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J, then bring it down. Then select your test tool. Then go back to your tests, copy your test, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font of this one to white. Then increase the character spacing. Something like this. Then I'm going to reduce the size. Then Ctrl plus A to alight, apply vertical alignment, Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then use your mouse to bring it down this way. Then increase the font a little. Ctrl plus zero to see how it look. Okay. So now that we have this, so the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to duplicate this test here. Control plus J to duplicate, then you drag it up here. Then while you come over here and bring it down, then select your test tool. Now I'm going to change the font color to white. Then go back to your test. I'm going to copy this test here, then Ctrl plus V to paste, then increase the font size, then I'm going to check the font I use on this, so here is the font, now select your test tool, then go to your font, and I'm going to select Thinking of Betty, that is the font I use. Then select the test while you increase the font size. Then Ctrl plus A to alight it. Apply vertical alignment, Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then select your test tool. Why I'm going to change this one? Something like this. Okay. Then Ctrl plus A again. Then apply vertical alignment. Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then why are we increase the font size this way? All right, so okay, like this. Then I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J. Then I'll drag it down. Then select your test to alight it, Ctrl plus A. Then go back to your test. And I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font to Atlantic inline. Then increase the size. Now I'll bring it below praise and worship. Then I'm going to change the font to the font here yep something like this then what i'm going to do now i'm going to my drop shadow to apply a shadow then select multiply 
then your opacity is 78, then the distance 7, spread 11, and the size 7. Then click OK. Now I'm going to copy the layer style here. Then select your praise and worship, right click, and paste the layer style. So this is our drop shadow now. So you can see the shadow over here. Okay. So now that you are done with this one, so the next thing we are going to do is to import the image. Then I'm going to import this image. Then reduce the size. So now that we are done with this one, then I'm going to import the second image. Then reduce the size. Then I'll position it this way. Alright, so having done this way, so the next thing we are going to do now is to put the time and date. Then I'm going to copy the time and date now. Then select your test tool. Then before then, we are going to import this icon. Then reduce the size. Then place it over here. Then Ctrl plus U, you drag it here to apply white. Then reduce the size a little. Okay, so like this. Now select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font here to Avenir increase the size select your test tool then you highlight this one then apply superscript Then I'm going to duplicate the test, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then Y, I will drag it like this. Then highlight it. Then come over to my test to copy the test here. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Reduce the size. Then use your arrow key then to drag it up. Then right click to paste your layer style. So you can see a shadow over there now. Okay. Increase it a little. Then go back to your resource and import this time icon reduce the size drag it over here use your arrow key turn to drag it up then you press ctrl plus u for hue and saturation and you drag this one to white area then you click ok then go back to your test to copy your test ctrl plus c then select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then you highlight this one. Then you reduce the size 
Okay. Now increase the font size. Then right click to apply your layer style. So then you can see the outcome of it now. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to select a rent angle to then I'll drag a rent angle over here this way. Then I'll pick a color from the this suit here so here is the color then if i want to pick this is what i'll do then i'll click ok so this is the color now i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j then i'll drag this one like this then hold your shift key then while you increase the size Now I'm going to change the color of this one to the color here. Then select your test tool. Then I'm going to copy this test here, Ctrl plus C, the guest speaker, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font color to this color here. Now reduce the size. Then go back to import this icon for location. Then reduce the size. Then go back to your test, then copy this test here. This one is for here. Then I'm going to duplicate that test. Then bring it down around here. Highlight it, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then reduce the font size. Ctrl plus G to group. So this is for the location. Then go back to your test and I'm going to copy the name of the guest artist then duplicate this test here and i'm going to drag it over here ctrl plus v to paste all right so what i'm going to do now here is for the guests minister then i'm going to duplicate it ctrl plus j why i will now move this one then over here then i'm going to change the color of this one to white then change the color of this one to white then I'm going to change the name there 
to guest speaker. Then also change the name here to the pastor. So this is the guest pastor. All right. So then I'm going to group it. So here is the date. And here is the time. And I'll drag this one over here. And I'm going to select including this one and I will group it. Then this is the minister and the speaker. Okay, so here we are done with the grouping. Then we are going to import this last background image here. Then I'm going to place it here. Like this. Okay, then Go to your blending option, I mean your blending mode, and I'm going to select divide. Then I'm going to reduce the opacity to 40. So this is what I have here. So thank you so much for following. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. And do not forget, if you like any of my design, please you can make your order through my father account the link is in the description below thank you so much i really appreciate your staying and following